Dear friends, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to build a Jupyter notebook. Now, this tutorial is for those who doesn't have any understanding on what is Jupyter notebook. Uh, I promise that by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to build a notebook that looks like this. Okay, now let's first begin by understanding what is Jupyter notebook. A notebook is a web application that allows you to combine live code, visualizations, and explanatory text all in one place. I have this sample notebook here where you can see that I have a live code. By live code, I mean if I change my code here, for example, I want to change the color of this plot from red to green, and when I run this, I see that it is changing, so this is live short of like idle or python command prompt where you change your code and you can see your result interactively second aspect of jupyter notebook is visualization so here i can see chart a table and a youtube video link all right the third aspect is the explanatory text so you can see the rich text here with different fonts and colors this short of looks like a web page an html style a rich text okay so if you have all of these three combined in one place then it's really awesome because uh, you can share your research uh, many times uh, data scientists uh, want to prove their point and they want to share the result with other people and this is a great way uh, for doing it I have a separate video where I go into details of explaining what is Jupyter notebook so you can go ahead and watch that first. Now, assuming that you know at least what is notebook, we are already set to build our first notebook, okay? So the first step in building a notebook is to install it. So in order to install it, uh, you can just go to Google and type in install Jupyter notebook and click on this link. Now here, there are two ways of installing Jupyter Notebook. One is by installing Anaconda. Jupyter is part of Anaconda, so once you install Anaconda, you will automatically get it. Second way is to install it using pip, where you can just run pip install Jupyter. Installing Anaconda is highly recommended, so I would go ahead and install Anaconda and get some other goodies for free. I have a separate video on how to install Anaconda, so you can just follow that. And assuming that now you have followed all these steps and you have installed Anaconda to launch a Jupyter Notebook, uh, here is what you need to do. So you can go to your command prompt and just type in Jupyter Notebook. Okay, now whenever you type this command, make sure like, so I have my working directory here, C code py. So it's gonna launch the Jupyter notebook from that working directory. All right, so whatever you save, you can save into that directory. So just run Jupyter notebook. And when you do that, it is going to launch the notebook. Okay, now in the notebook, there are few things here. So first of all, you have this front end or a UI which is running in a web browser okay the second part is your server so here i have my server running okay and when i do things like when i build a jupyter notebook here it's gonna communicate with this server so let me go ahead and open the jupyter architecture uh, diagram so i have this diagram here so this is how it works. So your browser is basically here. So this is your front end for the notebook. Then you have notebook server, which is running here. Okay, when you type it in Jupyter notebook. And what happens is every notebook server will have its kernel. So kernel is a an entity which is running your code. Okay, so when when in Jupyter Notebook, when you type in different commands, it will send a JSON messages to Notebook Server and Notebook Server will eventually use kernel to run your code and supply the output back to your browser. So now I'm going to create 
my first notebook so you can go here new and click on this one all right python now jupyter supports many other programming languages it's not just python we are in this tutorial covering only python okay our goal here is to build a notebook that will use pandas python module to uh, retrieve the live stock price and plot it as a chart and also in terms of a table and it will also have some explanatory text on what is stock etc for the people who don't know anything about stock okay so i have this code snippet here and just to save time i'm just going to copy paste so first of all you have uh, this particular cell here uh, which whose type is code so if you go here you have code and markdown and couple of other types so by default your line is a code here and when you type your code here and when you click on this button what it is going to do is it's going to execute it okay now it is giving some warning on the applicated uses of this library so i'm not not going to worry about it really uh, so I will execute it one more time and here you will notice that it used pandas library to pull Apple's stock price and when I say DF DF which means uh, data frame pandas data frame and when I print DF dot head it is printing the table now this is kind of nice because now I can see my live data interactively even even when I'm in the middle of uh, writing my code, okay? Here you will notice this ln2, 3, etc. So two means this is the second line that was executed. You will also see sometimes that little star. So if you notice here, you will see star. When it says star, it means it is executing that code. All right, so it's in middle of execution. That's what it means. Okay, now I have this stock prices uh, displayed as a table, but I want to let's say draw a chart. So for that, what you will do is you will use data frames plot function. Okay, so you can use plot function and you can mention what you want to plot on your y axis. So out of all these columns, I'm interested in plotting a closing price of stock every day on y axis. And let's say for color, I want my chart to be in green color. Now, to run specific uh, cell or specific line, you can either use this button or you can use alter enter uh, shortcut, okay? Now, it did not plot chart here because I need something called a line magic. So the line magic that I need to use here is matplotlib inline. So inline will plot the chart as soon as it is done executing this line. So again, execute it using this button or alter enter and you will see that it has plotted the chart now. Now I will go in detail on what is this thing doing and what is line magic, but first let me cover this menu bar option. So uh, here I have a couple of buttons. So for example, if I want to, let's say, I have this extra cell and if I want to remove it, you can use this option. So it will just remove the line, okay? Also, if you want to, let's say, insert a cell above this line, then you can say insert cell above and below. Also here in, I have a short keyboard shortcut. So I am looking for a shortcut for insert cell above and you will see that uh, you can use A or B as a shortcut to insert cell above. So I will type in A here. Uh, I have to be out of that. Now you see I typed in A and in, it inserted a cell here. And if I have this cell selected and if I type in B, it will insert the cell here. All right. Now let me see what is the command to cut the cell. So to cut the cell, you can press X key. So here I don't need this cell, so I will press X and it will get rid of it. So you can learn some of these shortcuts and it will 
increase your productivity. If you don't want to use shortcuts, then obviously you have these buttons. So this button right here is used to save your Jupyter Notebook file. So now, now that we have some code, let's go ahead and save the file. So here I will say save. Now it saved the file as untitled. So I can go here and click there to give a name to your file. So you can say Python pandas notebook. Okay and it saved my notebook. Now let's go back to this particular line and understand what it is doing. So whenever you see thing like percentage and some text after it, it is usually a line magic or cell magic, okay? So I'm going to insert some cell here and play with uh, line magic. So the command that you need to run to see all the magic commands is percentage ls magic okay again to execute it hit alt enter and you will see all the available magic commands that you have you have line magics and you have cell magic so let's look at some of them and see what they are doing exactly okay so i am interested in for example this percentage time magic now if you don't know what it is doing then there is this command there's a way uh, where you can type in question mark and execute that and it will show you the help on that particular magic okay so here it is saying that it is being used to measure the performance of a Python statement execution okay so for example here if you say percentage print hello world then it will tell you how much time print hello world takes to execute okay so let's try this out so I'm going to measure a performance of a for loop so let's say I have this big for loop where I am just doing some dummy operation okay and when you run this it will tell you that this for loop in total took 8.51 milliseconds so this is pretty powerful this can help you in identifying the bottleneck uh, in your code okay another um, magic command is percentage system so percentage percentage system will allow you to run any unix command so here if I say percentage system uh, pwd then it will show me my present working directory which is this okay you can also run ls to list down all the files so this, these are the files that I have in my current working directory pretty much you can run any uh, command using this there is even a better way like a shortcut of doing the same thing so if you want to do the exactly same thing then you can use explanation ex exclamation mark followed by your command and it will do the same thing right same here like pwd shows you present working direct okay now second thing i want to do is in my uh, data frame here i have a volume on stock price also Okay, so I want to plot this volume as a bar chart. Now matplotlib has a support for the bar chart. So I will use this particular cell. So let me remove this guy here and just use uh, that to plot a bar chart. So you say your data frame dot plot dot bar and you will mention your y axis. Okay. So you can see that it plotted the bar chart for my volume data okay now one thing you will notice here is this number so this number is 13 here versus here is 10 so this shows the order of execution so I executed this line first so that was like order 10 then I executed something else which I removed and then I executed this one so 11 10 11 12 13 and so on so if you ever wonder what these numbers means then the answer is there it shows the order of execution of your code 
Okay, now for this tutorial, uh, if I'm sharing this with someone who doesn't have any understanding on stock prices, then I want to explain that person what is stock. So for that, I prefer having a YouTube video link explaining what is stock. So for that, what I'll do is I will go to YouTube and type in what is stock, what is stock basically. Okay. So here I see this particular video. So just open that video and uh, just say share and embed. So this is an HTML. Uh, line to embed that particular video link now I want to insert that above this so you can click on insert cell above or using a shortcut and copy paste all right so let's run this so now you can see the YouTube video link here and you can run this link here and this way when a person is looking at this notebook he will play the video and he will gain understanding on uh, what is stock next thing I want to do is uh, I want to uh, have some explanatory text uh, to kind of uh, explain the purpose of this tutorial so again I will go insert cell above and this particular cell I will insert some explanatory text so I will say this I'm just copying pasting to save time okay now this uh, the type of this cell will be marked down okay so now let me run this okay so this is markdown cell and it, you can use uh, some of the markdown properties for example let's say I want to highlight or make this text bold for that you can use star star when you do star star it will make that bold see that it is bold now uh, also when you say one dot two dot this is showing it as a list okay so if you want to look at more markdown properties then you can go to help and look at markdown help here so formatting index for example you can see that if you want to make something as a header then you can use uh, hash shine like this okay so i will just see how this guy looks so i'm just going to copy okay and then here and then i will say double star double hash Okay, so if you put double hash, then it will make it like a header text. If you, so these are like various levels. So if you have one hash, it's even, it's heading one, heading two, heading three, and so on. Okay, so just look at this help. It has some few other things such as italic. So if you want to make your text italic, italic you can just uh, you use star. So here, if I put this whole thing into star, you, you can see that it is uh, now italic. So go through this help and uh, look at all the markdown text uh, to make your visualization or your explanatory text more appealing. Next thing I want to do is, since this is Panda's tutorial, I want to put Panda's logo uh, here so you will again insert a cell above this one change the type to be markdown and just google uh, pandas here and copy image address okay so that when you say copy image address it is like this so you have the png file so i will go to here and just put a image tag so i have image tag where the image location is whatever i copied from panda's website and i have some styling on that and i have again the same heading 
okay so when you run this so this particular thing is not needed now okay so this is how it looks and another important thing to notice is if you want to edit any cell just double click on it so when you double click on it you will see a little pencil icon here also you will see your cursor here so that's when you can type it in and when you execute using this cell or alter enter it will show the final output okay i have this extra cell which i can remove using this or x shortcut okay excellent so i have this pandas uh, tutorial notebook ready now it has explanatory text youtube video link and live code running so this is awesome now i want to share this with a friend of mine okay so in pandas uh, in sorry in uh, notebook in jupyter notebook you can export it to so here if you go to find file download as notebook you can export it as an html so when you export it as an html let's see what's going to happen so it so that uh, dump the output into HTML file. And if I open the HTML file, you will see this is how it looks. So you can see that well, this is an HTML file. So I can give this HTML file to anyone who wants to learn it, okay? You can also output your Jupyter Notebook as a Python file. So for example, you have bunch of python code here and you want to output it in, in python file then you'll just use download as python command here and when you open this particular file into notepad this is how it's looking so it it has all this python code so you can run this py file as it is all right, let's go back to our notebook. It has a bunch of other formats where you can output it as a PDF and MD and so on. If you want to look at some of the interesting Jupyter notebooks that other people have built, then just go to Google and type in Jupyter notebook gallery and it will show you a couple of uh, links here. So if I click on the first one, I will see some of the interesting notebooks. So for example, this one is on data analysis. Uh, it's showing the HTML page, but you can see uh, he's doing various things with uh, pandas and some other uh, data science libraries, okay? You can also look at some of the notebooks for the neural networks. So here is explaining what is neural network this one yeah and it has some code as well okay so just explore uh, all these different notebooks and yeah I forgot to mention that the format for the notebook uh, is IPYNB so IPYNB is your basically IPython notebook uh, so whenever you see any file which has a, this extension IPYNB uh, it is basically your uh, Jupyter notebook okay so that was all about Jupyter tutorial. There are many other interesting features, but uh, we are not able to cover them in this video. But at least I hope that this tutorial will get you started and you will be able to build the notebooks on your own. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, share and comment below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in next.